Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. US stocks rose overnight as investors built on the previous session's historic move to record highs. The Dow Jones Industrial Average climbed 0.36%. Monday's gains pushed the blue chip average to a new record and above the 38,000 level for the first time. The S&P 500 added 0.22%, also reaching a fresh all-time high. The Nasdaq Composite advanced 0.32%. Macy's rose more than 3% after rejecting a $5.8 billion proposal to take the retailer private. Solar Edge jumped more than 4% on the back of the company announcing it would lay off 16% of its workforce. Archer Daniels Midland plunged more than 24% after issuing weak earnings guidance and placing CFO Vikram Luther on leave amid an investigation tied to accounting practices. B. Riley Financial slipped around 2.5% after Bloomberg reported that regulators are investigating deals with a client connected to securities fraud. Tesla's stock dropped as Morgan Stanley lowered its target price to 345 US dollars from 380, citing concerns about a slowdown in the global electric vehicle market. Tesla's quarterly reports are due on Wednesday. Sunuco is set to acquire Newstar Energy in a deal worth approximately $7.3 billion, including debt as part of Sunuco's strategy to expand beyond motor fuel distribution. Shareholders of Newstar will receive 0.4 Sunoco shares per Newstar unit held, valued at $23.78 per share, representing a 31.9% premium over Newstar's recent closing price. Wall Street's strength may depend on whether the U.S. central bank successfully engineers a soft landing, cooling the economy to lower inflation while avoiding a recession. Traders are now pricing in a roughly 46% chance of a Fed rate cut in March, according to CME Group's FedWatch tool. That marks a steep, a steep decrease from almost 81% a week earlier. There's a nearly 54% likelihood that the central bank will keep rates steady, up from around 19% one week prior. Investors will also be closely watching a slate of economic reports due out this week, including fourth quarter gross domestic product product on Thursday and the Fed's favourite inflation measure, December's Personal Consumer Expenditures Price Index on Friday. Both Both reports will help shape how Fed officials view monetary policy moving forward. Overall, most US sectors closed higher overnight. Industrials was the best performer, whilst consumer discretionary was the worst. Shifting to China. Following a sharp decline in Chinese stocks, the government has announced plans to implement stronger measures to boost market confidence. This decision came after the CSI 300 index fell 1.6% to a nearly five-year low, and the Shanghai Composite Index experienced its largest one-day drop since April 2022, sinking 2.7%. The President of the Democratic Republic of Congo, or DRC, is in talks with China about a $7 billion financing arrangement linked to the restructuring of a minerals for infrastructure deal. The move aims to address the DRC's dissatisfaction with the previous 2008 contract, which has provided limited benefits leveraging the country's abundant mineral resources, including crucial green energy metals like copper and cobalt. Shifting to the Australian landscape, the SPY features are pointing to a flat start. Thank you for listening.